We'll see about that crap. David sure wanting to get you out on the course and whoop your ass and get that get that trophy back, you know. Yeah, he was running the mouth off pretty good when we was in Nebraska. Yep. So he's gonna try and goad you into it. Yeah. Of course I tried to get him to go that Sunday when he got back and oh. Laying this stuff has got to be the easiest thing I've done on this boat. I could not believe how easy that was compared to the old stuff that was thicker. This is thinner, probably not as durable, but boy, this stuff went in easy. All right, I got my new uh, ignition in, and I've got it hooked up. And I don't have this wire hooked up because it's not part of the... Uh, deal and I had it hooked up last time so I thought well I'm going to try something different but I've hooked up everything the best I can think of going by this diagram and I've got the boat pulled out I've got the motor uh, I also went ahead and rehooked up and unhooked I rehooked up the uh, purple wire from the uh, ignition switch and unhooked my uh, toggle switch system and we're going to give it a try. doing exactly what it's supposed to do it's working the choke again and it's turning it off when I need it to I'm taking an opportunity to in the break in the weather to try to get this boat to the lake and and give it a run and see how it does and <coughs> maybe fish an hour out of it we'll see how it goes Already planned a wedding on a rainy day but what a nice place to have it he already had it. There's Doc. Waiting with his stuff. Alright, here we go on its first run. in the gears.
Well, they say that usually happens whenever it's cold. Or it could be a choke. A choke sticking or something. That bear don't check that one. Oh, we got one online. Whoa. Come on, baby. That's always fun when you get them on these little rods, too. <laughs> yeah. You got the camera on? Yeah. First fish in the boat. Well, he's a dinker, but that is the first fish caught in this boat. And I assure you, it will not be the last. All right, buddy. Thanks for the fight. I'll have to say. That the boat looks nice. It is working nice. Other than the. You know, it seems roomy enough, doesn't it? Huh? Certainly roomy up here, but... No, it's fine. It seems roomy. It's dry. I mean, if you're going to do some serious bass fishing, you take some feet down and stand up on your mini truck. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm back in my garage, and I'm going to kind of assess how things went. Uh... Hopefully there, you saw a video where you'll see video where um, it was not staying in gear. And that's probably my fault because uh, when I was working in that lower unit uh, and hooking that clutch dog onto that shaft, uh, it seemed so stiff that it couldn't shift. So I went in and there's a little spring in there that pushes a little uh, uh, balls and I trimmed that spring down and probably should have never done that. So um, I feel like I'm, I'm just going to send it to the shop and let them repair it because I don't want to do it again. <clears throat> and I want to make sure it's done right. And so I know I can't use the motor because it's just not, it won't stay in gear. Uh, the other problem was that, and it's not a big problem, But my live well lid came off and and it's due to i'm using these um piano bench um parts and the screws i started with and i used them on my two back ones there too which i'm going to replace the screws but these screws just came right out of their you know these holes are so big that the screws uh work their way around them and i think that's odd but that's just kind of what I ran into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab these screws out. And, and I'm going to put bigger ones. And besides, I'm not sure. I don't think those are stainless steel. So I'm going to go ahead and put some stainless steel with a little bit bigger head on them. And replace those. And I'm going to do the same thing with any other screws. Now I started using my bigger uh, stainless screws on I think most everything else. Just because I... Had, I'd bought some and decided I'd, that was a way to use them up. So I'm going to go repair that. Let's see. The, basically, the boat did great on the water. It, where I was worried that I might be overweighted, it actually, you know, stayed well up on the water. And, you know, it didn't even, you know, maybe got halfway up in the, in the uh, live well. And I never felt like I didn't have enough room. And it just seemed, you know, decent for when it was on the water. Now, if I had one critique, it would be this trolling motor. Uh, there was two things wrong with it. One, this thing's not pointing the same way as the, as the motor or the, you know, the bullet down there. And that drives me a little nuts. But if you just close, you know, if you just fish and ignore it and just feel, you know, go by feel, uh, not a problem, but the one thing I did notice is is that I would have liked to have had a little more thrust uh, than this 45 pound will give on this boat. 
uh, you know, it'll, it was fine for, you know, fishing on a, on a nice, uh, clean, you know, clear day. I mean, a, you know, non-windy day. But I think if I'd have had to fish in a little bit of a wind uh, and against it, uh, I would have probably had to turn this trolling motor up more than I would like to and use battery quicker. So um, if I get everything working, you know, get this motor working where I can trust it to go out and just tear up the lake, uh, I'm pretty happy with the rest of the boat. And so I, I probably will end up you know, keeping it. But one of the things I would do is upgrade my trolling motor uh, to probably a, you know, at least a 55 pound or a, you know, maybe even go up to a 70. But I'll see how that goes. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful to be in the great outdoors.